Welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have seen how to split the data into train and test set. Now in this lesson, we are going to convert our object names into specific IDs. The reason why we need to convert these object names into the IDs is because in any machine learning or deep learning models, even the YOLO is also a deep learning model, we cannot train a text. So training the text is not possible in any model. So we need to convert this into some kind of numerical information. That process is called label encoding. So what I will do is I'm going to convert that this label into some kind of number information that is called assigning the numbers to the object. So here I written one function name it as label encoding. Here I'm having the 20 labels are there for each and every label or each and every object name I given one I assign some ID to it. For example, for person I assign zero, for car I assign one, for chair it is two and so on. Like this I assign all the object names to the specific ID and which I created in the dictionary. Finally, what we will do is that I'm going to return the ID of that particular object name. So that's what we're going to do here. So once we have this information, the next thing is let's apply this to both train as well as test set. So let me take the train underscore df and this is my id that's going to be equal to so train underscore name train underscore df to which column i need to apply is the name then i need to apply this function so apply label underscore encoding that's the function i need to apply to this similarly let's also apply to our test df so test df of id equal to test df of name and we are going to apply the label encoding now let's execute this oh this is my test df execute it all right now we have successfully did that let's look into our sample data of head of 10 all right here you go you can see that this is what the file name and in this file name we have the name that is the horse and the id is 9 and similarly the person this is 0 Okay, so we have successfully assigned some labels to it. So in going forward, we're going to use this ID for the training process. This is how we can assign numbers to the object name. In the next lesson, we will save our images and also save our label information and text document. Let's see on that. Until then, happy learning.